Daniel chapter 11. Also I, in the first year Darius the Mede, dated, even I stood to confirm and to strengthen him. And now will I show thee the truth. Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than they all. And by his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up against all he shall stir up all against the realm of Grecia. And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. Now historically this is Alexander the Great. Historic. But we're reading to it further. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken, and shall be divided toward four winds of heaven. Well, Alexander's kingdom was. And not to his posterity, that would be his children. It was given to his, his army, his commanders. But remember the, the, the horns we talked about earlier, and the little horn rising up? That's going to show up a little bit later in this chapter. Nor according to his dominion which he ruled, for his kingdom shall be plucked up even from others besides those. And the king of the south shall be strong, and one of his princes, and he shall be strong above him, and have dominion. His dominion shall be a great dominion. This entire history of the whole world is who can be president? Who can be king? And the power is given by God to Satan. And Jesus did not rebuke Satan. He said, I have this power to give it to whoever I want. You'll find more worldly, wicked rulers in the world because Satan's over them. We've already seen that uh, Satan has been addressed through world leaders. It's power. Who can I step on? And even America, if it isn't the presidency, it's the corporate ladder. How many people can I step on to get to the top position of a company? And for what? To die to go to hell? And in the end of years, they shall join themselves together. For the king's daughter of the south shall come to the king of the north to make an agreement. But she shall not retain the power of the arm. Neither shall he stand, nor his arm. But shall she? But she shall be given up. And they that brought her, and he that beget her, and he that strengthened her in these things. So just history and future involvement. But out of a branch of her roots, this woman, king's daughter, shall one stand up in his estate, which shall come with an army, and shall enter into the forces of the king of the north, and shall deal against them and prevail. I don't know everything. And shall also carry captives into Egypt their gods. Egypt's do got gods. With their princes, and with their precious vessels of silver and gold, he shall continue more years than the king of the north. So the king of the south shall come into his kingdom and shall return into his own land. But his son shall be stirred up and shall assemble a multitude of great forces. And one shall certainly come and overflow and pass through. Then shall he return and be stirred up again even to his fortress. And the king of the south shall be moved with choler, and that's extreme anger, and shall come forth and fight with him, even with the king of the north, and shall set forth a great multitude, but the multitude shall be given into his hand. When he has taken away the multitude, his heart shall be lifted up, pride. He shall cast down many ten thousand. But he shall not be strengthened by it. The victory he gets. For the king of the north shall return. And shall set forth a multitude greater than the former. 
and shall certainly come after certain years with a great army with much riches. Certain years. God has it already pre-designed. And in those times there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision. Thy people? That's the Jew. To establish the vision, but they shall fall. So the king of the north shall come and cast a mount and take the most fenced cities. And the arm of the south shall not withstand. Neither his chosen people, neither shall they be any strength to withstand. But he that cometh against him shall do according to his own will. None shall stand before him. So he's going to be a mighty, victorious king. He shall stand in the glorious land. Jerusalem, Israel, which by his hand shall be consumed. Israel is going to be attacked and is going to be consumed. It can't be Daniel's time because guess what? It's already been consumed. Israel is going to be occupied again and is going to be consumed again. Israel will not learn a beating from God. He shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom and upright ones with him. Thus shall he do. He shall give him the daughter of women. Interesting phrase. Corrupting her. Now they say Cleopatra, but but she shall not stand on his side, neither be for him. After this shall he turn his face unto the isles, and, sh and shall take many. But a prince of his own behalf shall cause the reproach offered by him to cease. So somebody in his own unit, without his own reproach, he shall cause it to turn upon him. Somebody with inside. Then he shall turn his face toward the fort of his own land. But he shall stumble and fall and not be found. Now. Then shall stand up in his estate. A raiser of taxes. Luke 2.1. The IRS. You think you're going to get rid of taxes? The Bible prophesies that the Antichrist is going to come with taxes upon taxation of taxation. In the glory of the kingdom. But within few days he shall be destroyed, neither in anger nor in battle. And if you remember in the Bible... Uh, I think it was Rehoboam, no, I think it was a Jeroboam, Rehoboam, Jeroboam, I think it was, sent the guy to go collect taxes and they killed him. And he mounted up and, and got back to his own city. When you read that story, here it is again. He didn't just write about a story about a tax collector that got killed, well here he is again. Isn't it funny that one of the men that Jesus chose to be his disciple was a tax collector? And the first one that, that started the Gospels? And in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in peacefully. Revelation 5 is it? With a bow but no arrow. And obtain the kingdom by flattery. How do you like that? You're now being told how that little horn is going to come to play. And with the he's going to just flatter the whole world. In other words, like your president candidate, you're just going to lie. And with the arms of a flood shall they be overflown from before him. 
and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. They're just going to flock to him. The world is going to go after the Antichrist. And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. He shall enter peacefully even upon the fattest places of the problem. He shall do that which his fathers have not done. So the Antichrist has a male gender seed. Nor his father's father's grandfather. He shall scatter among them the prey and spoil. You get prey and spoil after a battle. And riches. Yea, as God said, he shall forecast. There's your weather word. There's your Posse County Phil. When you divine the weather forecast without God, there it is right there. His device is against the stronghold, even for a time. And listen, God picks the right words. Inspiration. And he shall stir up his power, his power, and his courage against the king of the south with a great army. And the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army. But he shall not stand. And they shall forecast devices against him. Yea, as God said, they that feed of the portions of his meat shall destroy him. People of his own kingdom. Judas sat among Jesus' meat and was fed by Jesus and turned him over. Absalom sat at David's table. And his army shall overflow, and many shall fall down slain. Now you just look at the, the horses of the apocalypse found in Revelation. Peace, war, and both kings' hearts shall, do, shall be to do mischief. And they shall speak lies at one table. I'd like to bring that up to date with it. But it shall not prosper. For yet the end. Did you get that? We're not talking about a historical event. We're talking about something yet in the end. Shall be at the time appointed. When God has set times to be. Then shall he return into his own land. The Antichrist comes into Jerusalem and leaves and comes back as Saul does. He chases David. He ends up leaving, fights a battle, and comes back for David with great riches. And his heart shall be against the Holy Covenant. And he shall do exploits and return to his own land. But the Antichrist has a specific place of land. You read in the churches where it says where Satan's seed is. At the time appointed he shall return and come toward the south. He's coming back. But it shall not be as the former as he was there before. Or as the latter. For the ships of Chitin. I got numbers 24, 24. Shall come against him. Therefore he shall be grieved and return and have indignation against the holy covenant. So shall he do. He shall even return. Well, you can't return unless you've ever been gone. And have intelligence with them. There's your military intelligence. CIA. That forsake the holy covenant. And arm shall stand on his part. Chapter 1, verse 27 and 8, 11. And they, the ten kings shall pollute the sanctuary of strength and shall take away the daily sacrifice we just read that 
And they, the ten kings, shall place the abomination that makes desolate. Where'd you read that? Matthew twenty four fifteen. Second Chronicles thirty six fourteen. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flattery. But the people that do know their God, Jewish believers. shall be strong and do exploits. So when Jesus said, when you see that abomination set in a desolate, you ought to flee to the mountains. They're going to be Jews. Who, they're going to know what to do by God. And they that understand among the people, they shall instruct many. Evangelism in the tribulation period. They're going to help their former Jews. Yet they shall fall by the sword. Uh-oh. And by flame. Revelation 13, 13. By captivity. And by spoil. Many days. These Jewish evangelism evangelists are going to be tortured. They're going to be captured. They're going to be martyred. They're going to be in prison. And what can you do to help them, did Jesus say? You can visit them. You can feed them. You can help their... See? You just back what Jesus said. Those Jewish people that Jesus speaks about in, in, in Matthew 25... That they help out are the people trying to instruct the Jews where to go. And the Antichrist is killing them off. Prison them up. And it says the Jewish people, it don't say Gentiles trying to overcome the mark with a computer, does it? Now when they shall fall. How would you like to be commissioned by God and say, I'm going to tell you to go. You're going to go over this country. You're going to do the work of evangelists, but you're going to fall. Now, are these 144,000? I don't know. I know the 144,000 go out and witness, but are these specific ones? I don't know. They shall be hoping with a little help. Revelation 12, 16. The souls that were beheaded under the throne... These people are going to have their heads removed off like John the Baptist. Well, you read about a queen, didn't you? Well, didn't, wasn't there a queen involved in the story of John the Baptist? And a little flattery, dancing little daughter? Showing all the boogie woogie woos? But many shall cleave to them with flattery. And when they shall fall, they shall be hoping with a little help. Little help. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries. That's not the evangelist. We've already read about the flatteries. Many are going to turn to the, to the Antichrist outside of these evangelists, if I read this correct. I mean, ask my family. How many people got saved with all the years of street ministry we've been involved in? And yet Jesus told you, many will go the broad way. And some of them, the ones that understand and shall instruct, verse 33, shall fall. To try them, and to purge, and to make them white, even to the time of the end. Because it is yet for a time appointed. Notice how that keeps showing up. All they that live godly in the tribulation period will suffer persecution in the name of Jesus Christ or the Messiah. 
Now remember, Jews do not receive Jesus Christ. They don't. Do, if a Jew receives Jesus Christ as his Savior today, there are mock funerals. There are you. You are out of this family. It's going to be so like it in the tribulation period. And the king, the Antichrist, shall do according to his will. Jesus Christ did the will of the Father. Now, from this point, 36 to 45, you see these pronouns? I don't, I don't know if you mark your Bible or not, but if you mark your Bible, these pronouns are Satan. His will is Satan's will. And he shall exalt himself. Everything you see here is exactly opposite what Jesus Christ done. And magnify himself above every god. Every god. That's the god that Satan made. All the gods that you worship or have been worshipped or will be worshipped, Satan is going to promote himself over those gods. How do you like that? Satan is going to, oh, you shouldn't worship Zeus. I am God. Though Satan made Zeus. The angel Baloni. Oh, don't worship him. Worship me, Satan. It ain't Allah. It's me. And yet all those gods were made by Satan. So Satan deceives his own gods and the followers of them gods. How do you like that? He turns the trick on the religion. It ain't Mary. It's my mother. Me. And he's already proved that with Alexander the Great who stressed that his mother was, was a virgin. And Tammuz and all that. And magnify himself. Jeremiah 48, 24 through 46. Above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods. And shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished. Forty-two months. For that, that is determined, shall be done. Notice that phrase again. Can you stop the Antichrist from going to do what he's going to do? Absolutely not. God has already predetermined it. For the foreknowledge of God. He knows. Neither shall he, Satan, regard the capital G God of his fathers. Nahum 111. That's the Jews. Satan denies Jehovah, the Jewish God. Nor the desire of women, Genesis 3.16. Now, there are several ways you can read this. He's not going to have a wife. He's a sodomite. I don't know. But he has no desire of women. And notice how it says women. Do you think you're going to have women's live in the Antichrist realm? Try that verse. You know how women are treated in acts of war? And we just read a stupid thing today from the generals of America think that women should be drafted. Nor regard any God. Well, he made the gods. So what is that image he has the world worship? If he doesn't care about any other gods. It's him. For, listen, that, that image that Nebuchadnezzar made, was that Nebuchadnezzar? No. It was an image that he made. That image in the tribulation period, that's going to be Satan. That's him. For he shall magnify himself above all. Study 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 4. You don't have to worry about the Republican or Democrats in the Antichrist time. 
You don't have to worry about the rich or the poor. You don't have to worry about if you're male or female. You don't have to worry about the janitor or the CEO. It's all going to be about Satan. You don't have to worry about church denomination. It's all going to be the church of Satan. And if it ain't for Satan, you are his enemy. And don't you dare try to tell the people the truth. You won't have a constitution to protect you. And you think Adolf Hitler was nice to the, to the Jews? Wait till you see what this guy will do to the Jews. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. May the force be with you. Where did that come from? And a God of whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold, silver, with precious stones, and pleasant things. Revelation 18, 12. That little future Walmart store. He's going to make a God, capital G, but it's going to be a God, small g. You understand what I'm saying? He's going to raise himself up to be God. Isaiah 14. And he's going to have the whole world go after him. Does it look like that you're going to fool him? He's been dealing with people for 6,000 years since the first man and woman, the first children, the first grandparents. The first birth. He's been there for the first war, the first, the first death, the first zit. He was there when they first had to press one for English. Thus shall he do in the mo most strongholds with a strange God. Whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. In strange God to who? What well, primary to the Jews? What God was the God of the Jews? It ain't this one we're reading about. So you see how the Jews are going to know that this guy is not the guy? You match what we just read with the God of the, the five books of Moses. Does that match Moses? Book of Moses tells us that God is a consuming fire. Exodus 20. He wasn't gold or silver. Matter of fact, gold and silver was forbidden. Second commandment. As soon as he brings out this statue, wait a minute. God is violating his own commandment? Uh, excuse the pun, but that's not kosher. Do you see how the Jews are going to say, uh-oh, we got the wrong guy. Let's get out of Dodge. Exactly what Jesus said in Matthew 24. And when he sits in that holy place, woohoo, that's it. Because they know there's only one person that go in that place. Shall knowledge increase with glory, and he shall cause them, the strange God, to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. Zechariah 14 2. And at the time of the, what's that say? The end. That ain't 1700s. That ain't 1800s. That's not 1900s. Are we in the end? Long end. Shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots, with horsemen, with many ships, and he, the Antichrist, shall enter into the country, and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land, and many, see, he's coming back into the land. 
and many countries shall be overthrown. Not all countries. Now, according to Jesus Christ, what countries will not be overthrown? But these shall escape out of his hand. Even Edom. Well, they hated the Jews. And Moab. And the chief children of Lot. These are the sons of Lot and Esau. They helped the Jew get away. And I put a question mark there. Jeremiah 25, 15. Did Daniel just tell you who is going to enter the millennium? That's why I got a question mark there. He, the Antichrist, shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries and the elite in the land of Egypt shall not escape. Well, Egypt's always getting it from everybody. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, what man value as revenue. And over all precious things of Egypt. I mean like the stuff that Israel took out to give to God to make it for the tabernacle. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. There's Africa. Moab, Edom, and Ammon. Those are let me think, east of the Jordan River. And south. But tidings out of the east, Revelation 16, 12, and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy, utterly to make away many. You see what he wants to do? He don't care. He wants to get rid of all. He shall plant the tabernacle of his palace. Between the seas of the glorious mountain would be the Sea of Galilee and the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea. This is the temple. His temple. His palace. Yet he shall come to his end, Lake of Fire, and none shall help him. What a magnificent chapter. And Jesus Christ said there was a Daniel. And Jesus Christ authorized and confirmed in Matthew 24 what we just read in Daniel 11. It's not 1700, not 1800, it's yet future. You have seen and may not understand, I don't understand all this, especially the beginning chapters 1 all the way to that king and on the north and all that. I don't understand all that. But you have got the activities of something that as a born again Christian, you're not going to be here, but you can find out what the artillery movement of the Antichrist is. He's going to come in the land, he's going to leave, he's going to come back, he's going to go for a worldwide dominion. And he's going to kill all he can kill. He's going to have one religion, and it's going to be the denomination of Satan himself. And you just read that there's going to be Jewish evangelists going about telling their Jewish brethren what they need to do, and they're going to be hunted. They're going to be attacked. Like who in the Bible? Who went out and tried to help Jews? The apostles of the Lamb in the book of Acts. The book of Acts is going to happen again in the tribulation period. There's going to be men of, Ju of Jerusalem, men of Jews going out, telling people, hey, this is the way. This is the truth. And this is the life. 
A complete opposite is found in Jerusalem. He is not the way. He sure ain't the truth, John 8, 44, and he sure ain't the light. And no man cometh unto the Father. He's going to exalt himself higher than the Father. Isaiah 14. 